Hi guys, I'm Shirley. Welcome to my Bendy Fish tutorial. For this activity, I'm going to use a piece of A4 card, but you might have A4 paper, that's completely okay. Um, you're gonna need some pens or colored pencils. I'm going to use double-sided sticky tape. You might have cell tape or glue, that's equally okay. And a pair of scissors. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decorate this piece of paper. So I'm gonna use some colored pens. I'm gonna start with some blue and I'm gonna do some wavy lines. So I'm gonna do some blue here and then I'm gonna change my color and use some of this nice deep pink. You can decorate your page any way you like. I would just suggest that you make sure that you have got lots and lots of color on it. And uh, the more color that you have, the, the brighter your fish will be at the end. So some orange just coming in now and then the other colors there's some yellow nice bright yellow um there's some lighter pink and we'll pick one more um purple So I'm just going to decorate mine like this. Okay, so the first thing we do is turn this over and we need to make a square. So we're going to take this corner down and we're going to line it up with this edge and then we're going to make a crease here. Just like this. So I'm going to cut this bottom piece off um, and I'm going to keep it to the side because we do need this piece as well to make the other parts of the fish's body. So I will just set that to the side. We're going to open this up. And what we're going to do now is make like a kite shape. So I'm going to take this side and I'm going to bring it in and fold it into that middle line. And then I'm going to turn it around and do the same with this other side and fold it into the middle line. And then we have this sort of shape here. So the next stage is to open that up and fold it in half. We have it like this. So this ha this um, end up here is actually the head and this end is the tail. So we need to make some cuts in this now. So starting down here at the tail, we're gonna make the cuts just come up to the folded line. So they'll be shorter at this end and then they get longer, obviously, as they move up the piece of paper. So we're looking to sort of make our cuts round right about this width here. If we make them too wide, the fish doesn't bend very well. So we're going to continue this the whole way up. And as I say, these lines are just getting longer as they move up. And we're going to want to take these cuts just slightly, just slightly over the fold. Another few. Maybe another one. So we don't want to go right up to the end. So I'm going to leave this much here at the end. And this is because this part here is his head. So we're going to open this up. And then we're going to put a piece of tape. I'm going to put my piece of tape just going to rip some double sided sticky tape off. You can use cello tape here or you might have glue that you can use here too. So just pull that back off and then we're going to fold this end over and bring this end over and just stick that down there. And that's the body of the fish made. Okay. So this other piece of paper that we had left over, we need to cut this into three parts. So one, two, three. So with this one, we're going to make the bottom part of the fish's mouth. So we're just going to take the scissors and we're just going to round this end off like that. And with this one, we're going to fold this one in half and then we're going to cut from the bottom right up to the top. We're going to do a big long triangle shape out of this piece. And that's going to give me these two pieces here. And then with this third piece, I'm going to fold it in half 
and I'm going to go to the folded side and I'm going to start up here and cut that around and when I come to here I'm going to take it right back down into that corner so it's kind of like half a heart so when I open that up I have a whole heart okay so now we need to put um, some tape on these pieces here so we're going to keep the tail up this way and we're going to put the fins over this way and the mouth this way. So a little bit of tape on here, a piece of tape on here, some here and then I'm going to put a piece on the front end of the tail. So I'll just take these pieces of tape off here and then I'm going to hold the fish this way. And I'm going to stick this piece just in this bottom bit here and just, just push that down. And that's his mouth here. So with these two pieces here, I'm going to stick one under here and turn this round. And then I'm going to put this one under here. And then the final bit is his tail. So pull that piece off. And just down at the end here, I'm just going to stick his tail on here. So this is the body of the fish and it now has a mouth and fins and a tail. So the last wee bit I want to add on are some eyes. So I have cut these pieces of these circles out of white card. So I'm just going to get my black pen and I'm just going to put a big black circle into the middle of these. And the same over this side. Just like that. I already have some tape on here, so I will put one on this side of the head and one on this side of the head to get him to glue the eyes. So that's the fish tutorial. So this is our bendy fish. Um, I think they're pretty cool. And you can actually make these in all different sizes. So I have got another few here to show you. So I have made this one with an A5 piece of paper. And then I made this one um, with half of an, I, an A5 piece of paper. So the smaller the square, the smaller the fish. The bigger the square, the bigger the fish. So you can actually make them far bigger than this too. Or what I have done with this one is I have hung this one on a piece of bamboo to make it look like I have just, just gone fishing. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and don't forget if you make some bendy fish in whatever size, post me some pics into my children's art club group just to let me see how you decorated yours and as I say, what size do you make your one do?